Hey everyone, this is Joey G with the Pen Writing Industrial Division, and in this video, I am going to show you how I install the Hex Frog Juicer from Tam Valley. Let's go. So it's been a couple of weeks since I have done anything on the layout and finally I am able to knock out some wiring projects. Wiring is not my specialty. I don't like it, but it has to get done if you want to operate your layout, correct? So what I have done here, like in a previous video, I had been doing the, uh, we've been installing the frog juicers, Daniel Coombs from What's Neat This Week, he came over to help me install the frog juicers those Caboose Industry 119Rs, and I'll have a separate video on that. But today, I'm going to show you how I am going to hook up this Hex Frog Juicer, and it's a six uh, frog. Um, so you can hook up to like six switches on this thing. So it's really cool. And I'm going to show you the steps that I take on how to hook this up and see if we could get it working on the layout. So let's get started. So the beauty of this hex frog juicer is that you can wire and hardwire all these uh, wires right to your frog. And so I am using the Atlas number eight and also the Walther's number eight switches. And also over here we're using microengineering number six switches. So some like the Atlas ones, they actually have a little, uh, a little, uh, I guess a little copper or hole here. So you can um, juice it from the side instead of going into um, well, excuse me, you can solder from the side instead of soldering right to that frog, right? And so uh, what I'm going to do here and show you is the first step, let's say you don't have that, right? Uh, these Walther's switches, um, you need to go with against the frog. And so I got a Dremel here with a nice brush and it's in light, low setting, just buff. Just buff the frog a little bit to get it re prepared for the solder. And that should be good enough, I think. So the next step, after we buff that, we are going to take our drill. I got a 1 8 inch uh, drill bit here, okay? And uh, don't point that at anybody, that'll hurt. Um, so I use that, and I'm gonna go in the, second, in the middle of the uh, frog here. And it fits perfect with in between these ties. So you want it one eighth bit. That will work. Okay. And so what we're going to do here is I'm going to vacuum this out. And then we're going to get a little piece of rail or a little stick or maybe a piece of brass or something like a, like a tube of brass. And we're going to go through here. Right. And go through that. And that way we can start that hole. So what I had to do was I had to go underneath the layout and actually drill a hole underneath because I was hitting wood. So now I was able to do that. So now this piece of rail could go all the way through. All right, there we go. Clean it out a little bit if you need to. There we go. Okay. So the next thing is we're going to do the wiring. And so let's get the wire started. So what I'm using here is a, a stranded wire, 24 gauge, 24, 24, and I made it a little extra long. I mean, the, the distributor, the, the, the frog juicer is just right down here, but I want to make them extra long just in case, and then you can always cut. That way you have extra wire left over. So we're going to do is just pretty much, hopefully, it goes in the first try. Usually it takes a couple of times. It goes in the first time, it would be a miracle because it never likes to go in the first time. <laughs> See, and actually, it's kind of bendy. That, that, that will do it, right? There we go. We should be able to get it now. Let's see. Second try, second time to trom. Yep, 
There we go. All right, we got it. Oop. Drop it down, baby. Drop it down. Drop it like it's hot. All right. So what we're going to do next is that I got a 300-watt Max Weller uh, soldering iron, and it's a nice one. This is the one where you could adjust the temperature from 1 to 5. It's a really nice one here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of flux. I just take a little bit of flux here, and I put it on the side of the frog that we buffed out, right? And so also what I do have is the spring back pliers will hold this in place. And what I do too is I like to bend this wire at a 90 degree angle. Drop it down there. Okay, so you can use pliers or anything, so I use just a little pick here. And pretty much what I'm doing is just placing this right against the frog. Lift it up a little bit. There we go. We'll do that. So what I'm going to do, heat this up, the section of just a little bit. There we go. I have a little of the solder left over on that needle, so we'll do that. And so I'm going to take a little bit of soldering wire, a little bit of solder here, just a dab, not much, just enough so it holds it, but you don't want to, oop, and sometimes it falls down, and it's okay. Lift it back up. I do have these pliers, and I can't find them, actually. <laughs> there we go. There we go and that's it that's all we do okay and then I have this this sponge here right this is a copper sponge and it's really good to clean off the excess solder and so you want to scrape it off so you keep this needle clean and see so it cleans it right off nice and sort of shiny if you can see that and this thing is solid it's hooked up so the next thing is to hook it up to the actual um, hex uh, frog juicer. So let's do that. All right, so here is the uh, hex frog juicer. As you see, we have six for hex, right? Hexagon six. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six crossover switches. So this whole thing is going to be taken care of, uh, take, it's going to take care of the crossovers here. And so what I'm going to do is we'll take a flat screwdriver. Here we're gonna move. I'm gonna put this as the second one actually. There we go. This and that I cut, I already cut this and spliced it a little bit, so we're good there. Stick it in. Oop, I'm in the wrong one. Silly me. Ah, there we go. And that's that's nice and snug. So the next thing is to attach this up here, and then we're gonna see if it works. So the other thing I need to tell you guys is that this goes to your DCC or to a bus, to a uh, track bus right here, okay? This is for all of this right here, is all for your frogs, and this is for your track bus. So just remember that, very simple setup as you can see. I think it's like $77, $80 for a hex, but six switches for 70 bucks, it's not a bad deal. In my opinion, these are really, really nice. They really work well, and they hold a lot of juice for your frogs. So you should have really, really nice, smooth operations through your switches with this particular hex frog juicer. All right, so to hide the solder, what I do is I use these uh, track painters from Tidy Track. These are Woodland Scenics products. These are really, really nice. And so what I'm going to do is I got a little bit of rusty brown and I'm just gonna go over this here this frog I haven't touched these frogs or painted these frogs because I knew this was gonna be the next step 
and that's that. So it hides it just enough to where it's not really noticeable. I'll come back and I'll paint these ties a little more. That way it looks like it's all weathered. And that you have it. Okay, as you can see here, we do have both of the hex frog juicers installed. The top one is for all of the crossover switches on the main lines and the industrial lead slash third loop. Also, the second one below is for all of the industry switches. And that's for the M industrial district. The other side of the layout is on a separate block on a separate booster. And those have juicers that are from Caboose Industries. Those are completely separate. These two hold a lot of power. And so I decided to separate, actually it was recommended to separate the layout into two blocks. And so we got here, we, as you can see, these wires are all labeled one through six. These are also one through six. So they're all labeled below here on the um, index card that is glued to the board itself, showing what wire is what. To the right is the distribution uh, module. That's for the uh, Walther switch machines, which are still currently being installed. And we will have a different video showing that. But let's get back to here with the hex frog. So you can see a red and black wire connects right to here. This daisy chains these together and you could just daisy chain all the way down as many as you want as long as you have enough power for them and I have the, these wires here these yellow acts as a red and this black is which is always black this goes right to the command station so so that way you have power from the command station powering the frogs if powers this one which daisy chains to this which powers the second one so let's see how they work all right, so now we do have a train coming on the middle track. We're going to go from the middle to the outside and back to the middle just to uh, check out the crossovers and see how well they do here. Um, these still need some capacitors or keep alive, so let's see how they do with the frogs. And let's see how my rolling stock does too. <laughs> All right, so far so good on those. And we're going to back the train up and go on the other inside. Oh, need a little stretch there. All right, so we're gonna throw this. Let's get these all just straightened before I forget what to do here. Okay, we're gonna to forget to do it later on. All right, let's uh, reverse the train back and let's see how it rolls. Maybe uh, we won't need any movie magic. We'll just uh, see what it does here. And I mean more for the cars, not the railing, but. Well, at least the cars aren't powered, so we know they roll well. All right. I have a pizza dirty track over there. That wasn't the frogs, so. All right, awesome. Oh yeah, I like that. All right, cool. They work really, really nice. And let's see what they look like powered up, these uh, hex frogs. All right, so now you can see here the red shows that they're both powered here. And we have, yeah, it's all on. And I actually looked at, I checked the, uh, the industry switches. They work really, really well too. And I'll have a video on switching out the industries so that way you can see a full operations because I still got some more to add to this, um, plus some more capacitors and keep alives in some of our switch engines that Daniel Coombs is actually working on. So, uh, so far, so good. Everything is working. Now, you can see here, I do have these three that look like they're not hooked up because these six, I believe if that's the case, uh, means they all work. <laughs> so... Let's see what I have to do and get these operable. 
and uh, we should be good to go from there. Well, as you can see, there's a lot of progress happening here with the wiring. Um, I am learning so much on DCC work. It's not even funny. I'm learning more on track work. I had to redo some curves, and that will be in a future update video. Hopefully, in the next th two, three weeks, I'll have an update video on all the stuff that has been done, all the stuff, you know. And so right now, I was able to get the hex frogs working. The frog juices are both sides wired up. Um, the yard is working really, really well, so that's a little bit of an update there. Um, the next thing is the switch machines, which I like to get installed. And, uh, and so this is how you wire up the hex frog juicers. Again, very, very simple. A little bit of work with soldering and a little bit of wiring know-how, but very, very simple. So if you guys want something like this on your layout, I totally recommend it because this is an investment in the future. This won't be the last layout. And so the great part is all of the stuff I'm doing now will go towards a future layout. And so I'm looking forward to that as well. And some of the hard work will already be completed working and learning on this layout, the Pen Reading Industrial Division. On that note, I'm going to run this train around the layout and see what happens. You guys take care and I will see you for the next few videos, which will show some how to's on some more wiring DCC work, including an update on the layout itself. You guys take care. And now, got a horn. Cool. It's cool having three engines hooked up at once.